Hello all, Madacaster here, and I hope you're doing great. Today we are in X-Plane 11. We're going to be doing a little hop, skip, and a jump of a flight uh, from Des Moines International Airport to Epley Airfield in Omaha, Nebraska. So, like I said, quick, quick little flight. I am new to X-Plane, so I'm taking these quick little flights to get used to or to, to learn X-Plane 11. So far, it's been a lot of fun. I'm really enjoying it. It's a big learning curve. Uh, I've never played an X-Plane. I never played X-Plane 10 or anything. I did play FSX uh, a little bit here and there. Uh, was never good at it. And I'm certainly not good at this. But it's a learning experience, and we'll get there. So we are in a uh, cold, dark cockpit, and we are going to try and start this 737. Sometimes I'm successful, sometimes not so much. So here we go. We go to ground power. Open up our standby power to auto. Bus transfer, that's what it is, to auto. There we go. And she's coming to life. Turn the battery on. Okay, we'll get our left fuel pump on. And we'll start our APU. Hear that firing up. Turn the APU generators on. Seatbelt sign to auto. Get our yaw damper. Turn on our window heat and our pitot heat. Turn the APU bleed to on. Hydraulic pumps to on. And strobes to steady. Go ahead and turn these other fuel pumps on. Okay, and I think we're ready to set our flight director. Flight director on. And we will be flying, let's set up our now this is tricky. This is where uh, sometimes I'll screw up is the FMC. We will be flying out of Des Moines. So we'll set up our flight plan. Des Moines K. All right. Clear that out. K DSM. To Omaha, which is K O M A. And let's make up a flight number. We're in a southwest plane uh, in the southwest livery with 737. Uh, let's go southwest 82. Why not? Execute. All right. Climb looks good. Cruise. We'll do. We'll set our cruise altitude for. Let's go for 14,000. Like I said, this is a pretty, pretty short flight. All right. Time to set our departure and arrivals. Departure. Let's shoot for runway five. There's no SIDS to enter. For our arrival, use the Atlantic One approach on the stars, or, or yeah, stars. Don't think we need to use a transition. I could be wrong. We'll find out. We'll definitely find out. Uh, runway for Omaha. I'd like to use ILS 32 left. Let's go ahead and execute that and see what we get in our legs page. We got one error there one there but it's really not bad yeah we can work with this we'll clear this out by selecting this transition and just putting it there same for the next one select that just put it there and that looks pretty good yeah okay we'll execute it 
Still looks good. So let's go over to our plan mode. And step through this. Oh, we got a vectors. So let's replace the vectors. Execute. Okay, let's step through this again. Okay, yeah, that looks good. Looks like that actually worked. <clears throat> Excuse me. Okay, we got our flight plan. Now let's get back to the airplane. So our, our initial climb, let's go for, well, what does this say? Previous page. Uh, basically, they're saying we can go straight to 14,000. Yeah, so might as well. So we'll set that up for 14,000. The heading, I said runway 32 left, so we're already on three, uh, 320 there, so that's fine. Uh, we'll do climb out, start out on uh, 180. Go ahead and arm the auto throttle now, why not? Okay, I think we're ready for pushback. Runway five, I believe, is over here. Let me double check that. Yeah, this will be runway five here. Because this is north. So we'll go ahead and push back left. Pull the brakes, get ready for pushback. Push back left. Push cart on the way. Good to know. And let's fire some engines. Fire engine two. Watch her spool up here. Once she gets about 20, we'll give her the gas. And there we go. Just watch her kind of stable out here. Here we go. All right, we're ready to fire engine one. Again, waiting until she gets to about 20. Give her gas. See our takeoff trim is within the takeoff indicator. We can scoot back over. Go ahead and turn on. We don't need our logo light. Okay, got all our lights on. Catch you next time. Get our generators on. Actually, turn our APU generators off. Generators on. And I did turn the APU generators off, right? Okay. You can turn the bleed. Turn off the APU bleed. There we go. And we can shut down the APU. All right, go ahead and get rid of the yoke for now. Let's get an outside view. This is the Southwest. Seven thirty seven is just a gorgeous, gorgeous plane. All right. I think we're ready to taxi to runway. We'll go ahead and get flaps to five. Let 
reset our master caution forgot to do that and forgot to turn that to generator okay not paying attention here we go So, like I said, I'm new at this. This is the fun part, is the, the learning. Learning how to... I'm sure I'm taxing completely wrong right now, but hey, we're learning, right? Actually, I know I'm taxing wrong. Because I want to go... Let me double check my map here. Yeah, I wanted to go the other way. So, let's turn around and go the other way. Not going to make you sit through all that, so I'll skip ahead or just fast forward a little. Okay, we're approaching our runway here. And I need to get this back to map mode. Um, I need to make it be known that I am using this game pretty much vanilla. Uh, I do plan on getting uh, X Enviro, you know, before too long. Um, but I just kind of wanted to play the game vanilla and get a feel for it before I start modding, uh, just so I can really notice the changes and everything instead of just getting all the cool mods, you know, right out of the right out of the box and then not really appreciating them from what they are. So yeah, it's I do have uh, Ortho 4XP, uh, which is, uh, for those of you that might not know, um, basically just satellite imagery and then the X-Plane scenery will load on top of it. It's pretty cool. Um, but I've got that for Central Iowa. So we'll be able to take a look at that. There's probably a lot of mistakes I'm making. Uh, I don't have my flaps to five, there's one. That, uh, feel free to let me know in the comments. N just, I'd prefer nicely, please. <laughs> Because, like I said, I'm still learning. Uh, there is no... I'm not using any ATC. And there is no traffic. Because I had issues with the traffic just slamming into me. And this, that, and the other thing. And what I'm trying to learn, it's just one th one headache I don't need. Um, I'm kind of interested in that real world traffic that's out there too. Um, to possibly put in this game. We'll see. But for now, no traffic. And we're not using ATC. If we were to use ATC from Des Moines to Omaha... Uh, it'd just be non-stop talking and it's just this is more of a relax I, I play x-plane to relax so this is more of a relaxing way to do it for me if I was full-on sim then yeah I'd be using ATC this that and the other thing and I probably will down the road okay so looks like we are good to go I'm probably missing something but like I said this is how we learn so we're gonna go ahead and enter the runway like I said, no traffic to worry about. Runway five. All right, you may have noticed a little skip right there in the uh, recording. That's because the uh, mailman just rang my doorbell and my dogs went haywire. Didn't think you wanted to hear that. All right, so I think we're good to go. Let's slowly apply the throttle. Get on out of here. There's 140, rotate. Positive rate, gear up. LNAV on. Autopilot on. Vertical speed. Needs to be much slower than that.
There is Des Moines. The Ortho 4 XP. I really like the Ortho 4 XP overlay. Looks really, really good. Let's get outside and take a look. There's Sailorville Lake up there. That'd be Ankeny over here. Downtown over here. Noticing the frame rates are a little lower. I think it's because I'm using the uh, OBS. Because it's really smooth without. So I need to configure that. That's what I need to work on is configuring this to work well with the uh, OBS. Let's get inside and take a look at how things are shaking out. We're catching our... Let's see, our top of descent will be, yeah, just 58 miles out. Like I said, this is a quick flight. I doubt you'd ever use a 737 to fly from Des Moines to Omaha. But why not? Might as well. We can do it. It's a game, right? Or a sim. Yet I'm not using it in the full sim way. Oh, we need to pull our flaps up. <sighs> See, we're learning. At least we were only at 180. Let's check our legs. We could be at 290. It says we need to be below. Okay, yeah, so we can be... 290 all the way out pretty much so I'm probably not going to use VNAV at all on this flight just because it's so short So yeah, there's our top of descent, 54 miles out, nautical miles out, and we'll start our descent at that point. And we'll need to be below 12,172 by the time we intercept here, Atlantic. At Atlantic. A pretty straightforward approach in. But I'm sure I'll find a way to screw it up. So here's Interstate 80 here. Looks like we're pretty much just going to follow I-80. As one would, traveling to Omaha. Just a gorgeous plane. I like the Southwest livery too, a lot. Yeah, I'm real happy with this Ortho 4 XP. It's just so detailed. It takes a long time to download, but it sure looks good. Only problem is sometimes you get these little, they were clouds that were on the satellite image. But it's Iowa, we'll just pretend it's snow, right?
Top descent coming up in 38 nautical miles. We are above 10,000 feet. And that tone that you just heard right there uh, lets me know that we are a thousand feet away from our target, our, our indicated altitude. And once it gets there, it'll go to altitude hold. And then we'll cruise just for a little bit and hit our top of descent. There we are. We got our altitude hold. And she's slowing down a bit. We'll be at 14,000. I'll probably start descending a little before the top of descent. Just because it'll help me out. We don't have ATC to worry about or anything, so we can make little adjustments like that and not have to worry too much about it. You can see here this little green circle. That's our top of descent indicator. Now here you can see the difference. Let's go outside the plane. This is where the Ortho 4XP cuts off. This is because it works in tiles and you only download the tiles that you want. Wait, no, that's not where it cuts off. It cuts off right up here. You can kind of tell quite a difference. That actually looked like where it did, but. But you'll see it when we get up here. But I think we're going to hit our top of descent before that. So I'm going to go ahead and start getting this figured out they said what was it on the legs page below 12,172 so we'll just do 12,000 but I think we dropped pretty quickly after that oh we'll have time They want our speed. We'll go ahead and drop it to 240 now. Let's go 260 for time being. Now 
and we're picking up quite a bit of speed so I'm gonna let the air brakes out a little bit there we go we're dropping speed again take a look at those deployed there they are right there there's our thousand feet to go indicator Altitude hold on 12,000. Speed brakes can come off. I'll go outside and turn them off so you can see them go down. And there they go. Here's what I was talking about. This is where Ortho 4XP cuts off, and this is the vanilla scenery. That would be the difference. Yeah, the only thing that annoys me about the Ortho 4 XP is these little these clouds that were picked up in the in the satellite shots. But it's not a big deal. Not a big deal. I definitely like this better than this over here. I mean, this isn't bad, but it's nice to have the actual satellite image. And then the fact that X-Plane 11 overlays the textures on top of the satellite pictures is just so cool. Okay, about to make our turn. Then we're going to descend quite a bit here after our turn to 28, to below 2800. So maybe we'll do 26. I think it's an at or below. But we'll go ahead and do 26. I mean, it's Iowa slash oh, uh, Nebraska. It's, there's, it's flat enough. There's nothing out, out there. Making our turn. I'll switch to vertical speed after the turn. Probably want to put our, although we're not picking up much speed at all, so it's not a big deal. But we could probably go down a little quicker than this.
Picking up some speed, I'm gonna put the air brakes out again. I was a little late on my lights here. Uh, no harm, no foul. Apparently I didn't set my altimeter up right. A little off. It's indicated. I think it was at 1400 and it called out 1000. Go ahead and drop flaps. Don't really want to slow down in a turn, but we're coming up pretty quick. Speed breaks off. Set to armed. Wonder if we can pick up the localizer. Gear down. Flaps down another notch. Flaps to 40. I should have called out, I got the runway in sight. Localizer has this a little right.
that is if we've captured it. I don't think we have. Okay, I'm taking the plane then. We're a little too far right. A little low. A little windy too. Got a crosswind going. Reversers. We are down. Wasn't pretty, but wasn't bad. They what's the old saying? Any landing you can walk away from? I'll go with that. I should have looked up where the gates are here at Epley, Omaha, Nebraska. Well, it looks like the police are waiting for me over there. See that? Oh, I see gates. We'll just pull up to a random gate. How about that? And then we'll watch the replay. Actually, let's let's watch the replay now. Eh, let's just let's just pull up to the gate and we'll watch the replay. How about that? We're close enough. Coming in hot. Not too bad. Close enough. Okay, let's check out that replay. Coming down, coming down pretty fast. A little faster than I wanted to. But I wouldn't say that's too bad.
get everything shut down here and won't make you watch that so i appreciate you guys for watching uh leave a like and subscribe comment uh any constructive criticism is fantastic i absolutely appreciate it and use it uh to help me learn how to play this sim it's a lot of fun i'm enjoying the heck out of it and uh, i hope to make more videos if you guys want to see them uh, all the better because like i said i'm having a blast with it so i appreciate it guys thanks a lot and i'll see you in the next one